What's up y'all? It's Ryan from Tweak My Device. I want to show you a few little mods you can do to uh, an original Galaxy Nexus. Um, this doesn't require flashing a different ROM. Um, the first thing that I can't stand is this Google search bar on every single screen. You can't get rid of it. You know, you long press on it. Doesn't let you move it around. Uh, nothing. It's just stuck there taking up screen space. And I'm going to show you how to easily get rid of this and give yourself an extra row of icons. So a lot better use of that space. First of all, you need to be rooted. See one of my videos on that. And the file we're using was created by DJ MCNZ. Let's thank him for posting this on XDA. Gives you a quick run through of what it actually does. It removes the search bar. The search function still works. You can choose from three, five, or seven home screens. I'm personally going to go with three and minimize. And it works with the search button mod. We're going to do this in the next video. This enables a 4x5 grid instead of a 4x4 default grid. It's going to give you another row of icons. So pay close attention to this download area on his thread. It's just below these screenshots. And if you're running 401 or 402, you're going to want to grab it from one of these. I reflash back to 402 with Odin, so I'm going to grab three screens in landscape and portrait. You have a choice of five, four, or three. The newer version, if you have a 403 ROM, you can choose to grab one of these. One, three, five, or seven home screens. Once you boot it into recovery, navigate to install zip, choose the zip you want. That's the file I'm flashing right there. No search. And then it has your chosen dimensions. Press enter. Great, all finished. Let's go back and we'll reboot. Once you boot back up, you're left with this. No search bar on any home screen. And I'm down to only three home screens. I can take this one and move it up here to the top. And I have a lot more usable space. Enjoy your no search bar mod on the Galaxy Nexus. And make sure you subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.